what I'm trying to show you here of when you're having a conversation with somebody is you got to know your numbers. You got to know what you can afford. Sure. And you got to work, just work the business from you closing the business and work all the way in reverse. And then at that point, when you're having a conversation, if you have this in front of you, right, these are the things that you're going to be looking at when you're saying, all right, well, what can I afford? Well, I know that if I'm buying the leads, if I can afford $6.56, if, right? Well, if you're paying for the lead, then you just want to pay attention for what happens after the lead, right? How many people book, how many people show up, and then the close. If you're paying for the book meeting, you don't really care about the leads, right? Because you're not paying for anything until they book a meeting. So you would right. start from booking a meeting. And then you would say, okay, if you book me 3,125 meetings, I need to know what's the percentage of people that are going to show up for that meeting, right? I want to know because the numbers, this will change everything, man, right? Watch. What happens if 40% show up? Sure. Right? Yep. What happens if 50% show up? See what's happening here? See these numbers changing? You know why these numbers are changing? You're seeing more people. Right. It just it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't it. matter what you pay in a lead. It doesn't matter what you pay on a booked meeting, on a show up. It I mean it matters, but it all matters to the, like the end game. What do you want to spend every time you get a customer? Now, when you work backwards, you can do you can do anything. You could pay on a on a, a show up, a book meeting, a lead, a click. You can go to the impression if you had to, right? Well, the thing is, is that most people don't know this, right? So this is where you can get an edge in your business, right? You could, you could be competing with 25,000 other insurance brokers out there who don't understand this. And like you, I only want to pay when I get a sale, right? Well, if I'm a guy driving traffic and I have leads and you come to me and say, you know what, Eric? I'd be willing to pay you $45 when you book a meeting. For every book meeting, I'll pay you 45 bucks. When everybody else wants to pay 175 for a closed sale. By the way, it's the exact same thing, right? Mm -hmm. I got you. But guess what? If no one else is doing that, maybe, maybe the guy be willing to pay, maybe you take 20 bucks, right? Right. This is your, this is your number here. But what if you can get some book meetings for 20 bucks? And now you're putting yourself in a position to really have a sexy business if all of these numbers stay the same, right? Right. So the variables are these percentages of what's happening as you start to buy traffic, as you start to do this, the only way you're going to learn is if you test, right? Yep. As you test and you start to learn the numbers, you start to understand, usually for the most part, unless somebody tweaks what they're doing on the front end traffic sources, it's going to stay around that range for the most right. part where you you can make some predictions of course you want to be watching it right because what i like to call it is a true up no matter what you're doing you can true up in the back end later as you start to look at data every day and say okay well how many how many meetings do we get uh i know if you get me x amount of meetings that i'm going to close xyz and as long as you're getting the same type of traffic from somebody you can model out the business but the minute the minute you go and buy traffic from somebody else, somewhere else, these numbers, you can use these numbers as a baseline, but it's going to be different because it's all based on where are you meeting this person in the journey of a lead, all right? So you can play here. This seems like a, a good place for you to start because it looks like it's a good high quality lead and it's taking right. away a lot of the, the work you need to do. That if he's if he's willing to listen, if he's willing to get paid on a sale, then awesome, go for it. Uh, if he's like, I don't want to do that, mm-hmm. then maybe he's getting you know, all right, then I'd be willing to pay you on, on a meeting as a test. Well, how do you do it? How do you okay? Well, you know what? I'll spend. I'm going to spend a thousand dollars to test it out. I'm going to spend five thousand dollars to test it out. I'm going to spend ten thousand. I'm willing to put it out. I'll, I'll sign a contract for a hundred grand, but I can cancel at any time within. 24 hours. And I want you to cap the leads to 10 a day. Right. So what is that? Immediately, it looks like you're a player, but really at the end of the day, 
if you're willing to spend $50 for every book meeting and you're capping them at 10 bucks, your risk is 500 bucks a day. Right. Right. But you signed a hundred thousand dollar contract. Right? right. It doesn't really matter as long as you can have an out to cancel at any time, but it's all based on the perception of who you are and how you do the deal. 